Hello there! In this video, we shall cover how to send emails with NodeMailer using three different methods. A regular SMTP server, the official MailTrap Node.js client, and how to send emails via Gmail SMTP server. If you would like to jump to one of these parts right away, feel free to use the timestamps available below. Now, welcome to MailTrap videos where we share email deliverability tips. Here's how to send emails with NodeMailer. First, let's take a look at sending messages using SMTP. As a basis for the example, I'll take the NodeMailer documentation. So first, we need to install NodeMailer. Then you need to add the required and the rest of the necessary elements. All in all, our code is almost ready and what's left is to replace the configuration with the one we need. In this example, I'll be using MailTrap's SMTP settings. Let's copy the domain name, leave the port as it is, Add your username and your password. And that's it. Now let's replace the sender's email. For the recipient's email, I'm using an example address I prepared in advance. Let's set the subject of the email. Add some text in the body of the email. We can get rid of the HTML part since we don't really need it in this example. Now make sure to save the file and we're done. Now let's run the script. As we can see in the logs, the message was sent. Let's make sure that it was delivered. And there it is. We have just learned one method out of three and there's more to go, so keep on watching. By the way, all the details are covered in our article, plus we have all the relevant code on our GitHub page. You can find the links for both of these in the video description below. Now, before we jump into the next two methods, if you are finding this video useful, do give it a thumbs up. This way, you are helping YouTube to spread the knowledge and more viewers can benefit from content like this. Now, let us take a look at how we can send emails using the official MailTrap Node.js client. Now, this one is super convenient, as the email delivery platform MailTrap itself allows you to test, send, and control all of your email infrastructure performance in one place. So you can just set up everything and forget about it while it does the job and delivers the emails for you. Here is how it works with Node.js. So, for the sake of this example, I'll use the simplest scenario listed in the minimal section of the GitHub page. Let's start by installing the required package. After that, let's import the library. Next, configure the client. And in this case, I slightly modified the code for this example, and my version ended up looking like this. Now, let's fill in the required fields. First, we do the token one, which is the password for your MailTrap account. Next, let's fill in the sender's email address. Keep in mind that it's important to use the correct domain from which the emails will be sent, otherwise it will not pass the validation. Now, let's indicate the receiver's email and the subject. Add some text in the body of the email, and that's it. We are ready to run our script. The script ran successfully, and we can see that the email was indeed delivered. Last but definitely not least, let us take a look at how we can send emails with NodeMailer using Gmail SMTP. The most straightforward option for sending emails with Gmail SMTP is to use the app password. This is a 16-digit passcode that gives a less secure app or device permission to access your Google account. You can create the passcode in the app password section of your Google account. Our article also has a solid description of this process. For this example, I already prepared the app password. So first, let's install NodeMailer. Next, you want to copy and paste the transport configuration, which can be found in our article. Also, remember to add the require. And now, add the actual code to send the email message. You can find this code in the article too. After this, let's specify the required settings. User, which is your Gmail email address. Pass, which is the app password you generated. Now indicate the from and to email addresses. To keep things simple, I'm using the same email address for both. But of course, you can specify any other actual email addresses. Let's save this and run our script. And from the logs, we can see that the email went through. Now, let's see if it was delivered to the inbox. And yup, it was. Just like that, your Node.js app can quickly start sending emails. Again, all of the links of articles that I mentioned and the GitHub page are available in the description below. We at MailTrap do hope you found this tutorial helpful. And for your convenience, you can simply copy the piece of the code right from the article. I will make sure to link everything in the video description below so that you can have it for any future users. Do let us know which sending method do you prefer and why. We would love to chat with you in the comments. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by MailTrap, an email delivery platform for individuals and businesses to test, send, and control all of your email infrastructure in one place. Like and share this video and subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials like this one, as well as check out our other videos for more useful content on email deliverability. And I will see you soon in our next one.